Welcome to another episode of Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2020 with the New Hampshire Wildcats. Um, we are just about ready for the regular season to start. We're about a week away. You can see our first game is part of the 2K Sports Classic, where we're going to take on and probably get smoked by Kansas, but that's the game we're going to play. Uh, before we did anything, though, I wanted to take a look at one of one of you guys, William Ashman, wanted to take a look at Sacramento State, because that's his alma mater, so we will take a look at Sacramento State. They are currently in uh, our conference, I believe. Is that what's going on here? Standings. Conference R, yep, Sacramento State right there. All right, so let's take a look really quickly at Sacramento State. Uh, if we look at school info, uh, let's see, does it list last year's record? I don't think it does. Um, yeah, I don't think it does. Uh, but they have a D facility, C minus academics, 860 SAT minimum, so... Uh, team prestige 20, conference prestige 17, all-time record of 263 and 570. William, your team is not <laughs> very good. But if we take a look at their roster, uh, we've got players that we didn't scout, so we don't know what they look like. Uh, they've got, you know, they've got some players who, if they develop, could could turn out to be pretty good. But ultimately, the team doesn't look all that great they've got this miguel patterson who's probably their best player last year only played 13 minutes a game scored seven points a game so it could be a rough a rough season for the sacramento state hornets so um yeah if there's any anything else that anybody wants me to look at please let me know but let's take a look at our roster our roster uh right there we are pretty stacked uh, we brought in some um, a really good recruiting class: Carter Roy, Alex Burks, Keith Parker. You can see Burks is coming in as a, a three-star, four and a half star. Parker comes in as two-star, four and a half star. Llewellyn Barkley comes back after a really nice freshman season, three-star, four-star. Scotty Rosen was our um, transfer, so he's got to sit out this season, but I'm looking forward to having him next season. Calvin Webb is a returning starter. He's three and a half star, three and a half star. Carter Roy, Kyle Irwin, both one and a half star, four star. Doug, Mc, Doug McMaster, who um, was a bench player last year, will probably get the will probably get the starting nod at shooting guard this season. Uh, two star, three and a half star, and then you can see the rest of the roster here. Pebbles and Jelly. Lavin, Pride, Kamauna, and then Davis and Carter are walk-ons. So I have to make a decision here on whether or not I want to redshirt anybody. And I think I'm going to have to simply because I don't think that I – mean, we're not going to be that deep a team. I mean, we're probably going to go, like most college teams, we're going to go seven or eight deep. Um, so we got Barkley, Webb, McMaster for sure. Burks is ready. Parker is ready. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Pebbles, six. Lavin, seven. And Jelly, eight, because we can't redshirt him. Pride, nine. So I think it's going to come down to do we want to redshirt Kyle Irwin or do we want to redshirt Carter Roy? Um, I think it might make sense to redshirt I don't know. I, one and a half star. I don't know how much either of these guys are going to play this season. Irwin, 6'8", 206. He's the better shooter by far right now. 73, 83. I guess it's not by far, but he's a better shooter right now. We're, we're going we're gonna, to um, redshirt Carter Roy. So we'll redshirt Carter Roy this season. And um, that will be our roster going into this season. Um, recruiting, 
Uh, we've had some players show some interest in us here uh, early on. We've got some contract offers out. You can see we've got some interest from a four-star uh, Kevin White, the number 120 overall recruit. We've offered him a contract. Terrell uh, Walton, three-star. Uh, and then a couple of international guys. Yerky Nimella. Nim yeah, Nimella. And Albin Pyluzic out of Poland. He's... Uh, we're in his top 10. We're number three right now. I'm hoping we can lock this down sooner rather than later. Um, Eric Robinson and then some two-star potential. I don't know if we're on anybody else's. He says we're not in the running, so we'll see. And I think the rest of these guys are, are the same. They all say that we're not in the running, but they have us listed there. And Kevin White, I don't suspect that we're going to be able to get him, but I you know, when he was showing interest, I figured it made sense to offer him that contract. So let's just talk to a couple of these guys really quickly and see if we can get some more information. Okay, he doesn't want to talk about academics. That's fine. I don't can't say I blame him. Terrell Walton. He doesn't want to talk about playing time. I'm going to go back to these guys here in a second. Um, Let's talk to Namella. Uh, facilities. You don't have anything to ask you. Wow. Okay, so that was... These guys didn't really want to talk to me this round. That's fine. Let's make one more run at it here. One more run through these and see if we can get them to... Um, give us some in academics is not a big concern. Okay. Let's go back to Walton. Playing time. Yeah, he doesn't want to talk. All right, so we're not going to make him talk. We're going to go ahead and advance. A couple messages. Hopefully one of them is a somebody committing to us. My guess is that it's just scouting reports for our upcoming games. We got three messages. Yep, South Florida, Campbell, and season begins. I don't think we're going to have to recruit, do any... Oh, we do. Okay, that. Okay, so it skipped a week. Let's go ahead and offer all these guys. Where are we with Albin? We're still third. Uh, Eric Robinson, are we? We're not ranked. We can offer him playing time. None of them. None of them will come to us if we ask. If we try to host them, so yeah, none of them are gonna come to us right now. So let's make a phone call really quickly. Phone call or two, and then we'll move on. What do you feel about? There you go. It's one of the things into the, but it's only one of the things you're factoring in. Uh, Academics is not a big concern. Prestige is not a big concern. Conference prestige is very important. That could cause us some issues, but you know we'll see how it goes. All right, let's sim ahead. Oh, here we go. New Hampshire versus Kansas in the 2K Classic. So let's go ahead. Oh, we got to set our depth chart. So it wants Barkley, McMaster, Pebbles, Lavin, and Webb as our starters with Angeli, Kamauna, Burke's pride. Yes, yeah, he Irwin's not getting really any playing time at all. And he's one of our best shooters. So we are gonna have to work him into this a little bit. I don't want Pebbles playing that much. So we'll go Irwin, Irwin. And Jelly comes in, and then we'll go. Uh no, we'll do it this way. Yeah, we'll do it like that. So that gets him a oops. So that gets him a little bit of playing time, which is kind of what I want. Um, yeah, Trent Davis is not the walk on is not getting any playing time. Parker will get playing time. We'll put him at center. Wow, it's got Webb playing a lot. Uh, let's let's do this. We're not going to be a very good rebounding team at this, although Parker's rebounding isn't terrible. 
Uh, it needs some work, but right now it's not bad. So that's what we're going to run with, I think. Um, yeah, we are going to have to spread it out this year. I think Barkley and Webb are going to have to carry us, and then hopefully we can get some support from the rest of um, the rest of the roster here. So let's go ahead and see what happens with Kansas. I suspect we're going to get smoked, but we'll see. Llewellyn Barkley, Doug McMaster, Richard Pebbles, Juan Lavin, and Calvin Webb for us. Tremaine, Neely, Vernon Howard, Kuth. Richardson, Corey Williams, and Keith Bellamy for the number four Kansas Jayhawks. All right, let's see how it goes. The last game, if you remember, hey, we get on the board early on a bucket by Lavin. Our last game was the um, NCAA tournament game against Kansas State that we lost. We hung in there, but we ended up losing by know, almost 20. Missed three-pointer from the top of the key by Barkley. Turnover there. Kansas gets the ball back up by four now. Lavin misses a bunny. Another shot inside missed by Webb, and we are now down by six. Shots are not falling here early. There's a basket by Pebbles to bring us within four. Three-pointer for Kansas gives them an 11-4 lead. So we've got some skill on the team this year. I think next year is really going to be that first year where things kind of explode for us. Um, we've got a lot of young talent, um, but it's going to take a little while for them to develop. So... Um, as Barkley hits a shot to bring us within five. See, I think next year is really going to be that that first year for us, where where some of those some of those developing players really show what they're capable of. Um, I think we'll be fine in the conference, especially if you know we looked at Sacramento State and they um, they have some. Uh, challenges with their roster and if that's what the rest of the conference looks like i think we'll be in, in pretty good shape we keep turning the ball over here that's nine turnovers already and we're down by 14 i mean we knew this was going to happen we weren't going to be able to hang with kansas so uh just try to keep it close make a game of it and uh see what you can do So I think this is going to be a short episode. We're just going to play through this, uh, play through this game, and then from there I will sim ahead. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to sim ahead to. I might sim. Uh, I might sim the regular season. I might come back. I'm down by 20, 31 to 11. I might come back for the Sacramento State game for uh, for for William. Um, and we'll, we'll play that game out. We'll see how early in the season it is. But again, you know, this is, especially these early seasons are about just trying to move forward and move up in, in the rankings. Once we get ourselves into a position where we're potentially ranked, um, then we can start kind of slowing things down a little bit. But these first few seasons are really going to be kind of want to just motor through them and, um, advance as far as we can we're in conference r right now you know i'd like to move us up five or six ranking i'd like to move us up a, 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 a basically a once a year so you figure for conference r right now we got another what 10 or 12 seasons before we're really you know really uh, in a position to to make some noise in in the tournament you know if we get up into conference F or G or something like that, you know, I mean, we could, we can make something happen. So there's some work to be done. Uh, so I don't want to spend too much time on these early seasons where, um, you know, it's a means to an end kind of thing. So, um, yeah, so uh, Pebbles hits a three-pointer there. We're down by 14 with two minutes left. One out of two at the line by Lavin. Lavin. 
Another turn. Over 13 turnovers in the first half. We're only 9 of 24 shooting. Trying to cut into that 14-point lead, but a missed shot there. Down under a minute. Holding for the last shot. We turn the ball over again. Kansas will get the last shot, but they miss it. And that will bring us to halftime, trailing 42-26. Vernon Howard, offensive star for Kansas, with 17 points. Williams with 7. Richardson with 4. Bellamy and Neely with 2. Off the bench, Clark with 4. Johnson and Weeks with a pair. Platts and Williams both played but did not score. For the Cats, uh, not a whole lot going on. Pebbles leading the way with 7. Barkley and Lavin each with 5. McMaster with 2. And Webb... Uh, did not score, which is kind of frustrating. Pride with four points off the bench. Angeli with a couple of free throws. Parker made one out of two at the line. Kamauna, Irwin, Burks, Davis all played but did not score. Nine of 25 shooting. Kansas was 13 of 27. Three of nine from behind the arc. Kansas was two of nine. We were only five of eight from the line while Kansas was 12 of 20. We are out rebounding. Kansas 18 to 15, but those 14 turnovers in the first half have really hurt us. McMaster's in foul trouble. Burks is also in foul trouble. He picked up three fouls in three minutes. Not so good. So let's get to the second half and let's get through this first game as we trail by 14. This is similar to that uh, uh, Kent, uh, yeah, Kansas State game. Um, not can yeah Kansas State we played Kansas State um, similar to that game in that we hung in there but we never really made it like it was never really the, the 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 outcome was never really in 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 any danger I mean we tra we got the lead down to twelve here to start the second half it's back up to sixteen and that's kind of what happened in that in that NCAA tournament game last year we would keep getting the lead down to you know twelve or eleven and. Uh, Kansas State would just open it back up and we would get close and then they would open it up and it's kind of the same thing that's happening here although we are now within 14 at 47 to 33 Pebbles with nine points for the Cats a couple of quick buckets for Kansas block shot and leads up to 20 53 to 33 Missed three-pointer, 22-point game. Pebbles gets a basket there. He's five for eight shooting. Pride, six points, five rebounds. Barkley, five points, four rebounds, three assists. So some decent stat lines for some of the players. Again, we weren't expecting to win this game. Let's not fool ourselves. Again, first couple seasons are more about figuring out the best way to handle recruiting and trying to um, trying to move up a, a conference every year is really the goal. So in order to do that, we need to either finish in the top three in the conference or win the conference tournament. So I think that's feasible. I think, you know, like most video games, we have an advantage over the AI and that we're human. So we'll be able to make better decisions than the AI when it comes to recruiting. So I think we'll be able to recruit pretty uh, pretty well and pick up some good recruits and kind of that'll keep us kind of ahead of the game, you know, based on the conferences that we're in. We'll we'll be able to just kind of stay a little bit ahead of the AI, which will allow us to stay in that top three, top four every year uh, and have a shot at these conference tournaments. So. We trail by 19, and we have the ball. Three, a pointer made by Barkley, and it's a 16-point game. And there's a basket by, I think that was Kamauna. So we're now down by 14. Kansas with the ball. Turnover by Kansas. Turnover by UNH. Missed shot. Kansas gets it back. Two quick buckets, and it's back up to 18. Six and a half left to go. Two free throws make it a 20-point game. Burks is able to hit the shot but misses the free throw. 
Miss Jumper, put back by Burks, is good. 69-52. Jumper from the wing is good. 14-point game. Two free throws by Kansas. Turnover, basket. That happened. That's happened a lot where we get the lead down to 14. Kansas would hit a shot, get a turnover, get two quick buckets, and then all of a sudden it's a 20-point game again. 77-57, three minutes remaining. 18-point lead. Pebbles and Lavin both in double, div double digits. Pebbles 13, Lavin 12. Down to two minutes left. Barkley hits a three from the top of the key. He's got 12.6 assists in this one as we trail by 17. 15-point game now. Pebbles hits another shot. Eighty to sixty-four as we're under a minute. Miss shot by UNH. Kansas looks like they're just gonna hold it unless they okay, a couple of free throws. Missed three-pointer there, and that will do it. So we dropped the opener in the 2K Classic, which was to be expected, uh, but we didn't get blown out, and that says something. We lose to Kansas 82-64. to 64. Kansas was led by Vernon Howard, 21 points, four rebounds, four assists, four steals, two blocks, packed that stat line. Richardson, 15 points, 10 rebounds. Bellamy, 12 points, 8 rebounds. Williams, 10 and 3 blocks. Neely had 4 off the bench. Williams with 6. Platts, Clark, Johnson, each had 4. Weeks had 2. And for the Cats, they had 3 players in double digits, led by Barkley, who had 14.6 assists, but turned the ball over 8 times. Pebbles with 13 points. Lavin with 12 and 6. McMaster had 2. And Webb only scored one point. He may have been a little overwhelmed down low against that big Kansas front line. Off the bench, Pride had eight points, five rebounds. Burks had eight points in his debut. Kamauna hit a three-pointer, and Jilly had two. Parker had one. We shot 43% for the game. Kansas shot 49. We were 6 of 20 from behind the arc. Kansas was only 3 of 16. Game could have been a whole lot worse if you look at their free throw shooting and their three-point shooting. They were 25 of 38 from the line. We were only 10 of 14, which was better than last year in terms of percentage. But 10 of 14, uh, we ended up getting out-rebounded. Uh, we turned the ball over 22 times, which really, really hurt us. So that is the end of our first game, and we end up Oh, and one. So if we take a look at our schedule. So Sacramento State is here. So yeah, I could, I could see January 28th as a comeback day. We'll come back, we'll play that game, and then we'll and then uh, I'll sim ahead to uh, the postseason tournament. We'll we'll go through the postseason tournament and uh, go from there. So that might be a bit of a longer episode if we end up playing four or five games, you know, if we if we if we we win the tournament and we go to the postseason tournament, but um at any rate, uh that is going to do it for this one. As always, guys, please leave a like, subscribe, let me know your thoughts, and until we talk again, take care.